an element delta L equal to delta X into I is placed at the origin and carries a large current I equal to 10 ampere, what is the magnetic field on the Y axis at a distance of 0.5 meter delta X equal to 1 centimeter. Here they have given delta X, actually it is delta DL, okay DL they have given DL, they have given DL, delta L equal to delta X, it is DL, okay. Let us draw the diagram according to this question. An element delta L equal to delta X i is placed at the origin. So we are drawing X and Y axis. This is X axis. This is Y axis. X and Y. Okay. An element delta L at the origin here. This is the origin. So here we are considering the, there is a point. This is P and the distance from the origin to the point is given it is 0 0.5 0 0.5 meter so it is 0 0.5 meter what is the magnetic field on the y axis at a distance of 0 0.5 meter from the origin to the point the distance is given 0 0.5 meter okay this is the element delta x delta x instead of delta l instead of dl they have given delta x okay which equation we can use here this the value of current is also given 10 ampere we can use this equation mu 0 by 4 pi ideal sine theta by r square how to solve it from here we can write db equal to mu 0 by 4 pi what is the value of i i is equal to 10 ampere so 10 into what is the value of dl delta x equal to 1 centimeter dl is delta x okay delta x equal to 1 centimeter DL, uh, DL is equal to 1 centimeter we need to convert that into meter so it will be 10 raised to minus 2 meter into sine theta the angle between this R this is R actually this is R and this is DL the, so this angle is 90 degree so it will be sine 90 degree all divided by R square what is the distance R it is 0 0.5 meter 0 0.5 all square if you are solving it db equal to we are giving the value of mu 0 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7 divided by 4 pi okay 10 into 10 raised to minus 2 into sine 91 so no need to write that divided by 0.5 all square is 0 0.25 right if you are solving it we will get db equal to 4 into 10 raised to minus 8 tesla db this is our answer so when you are getting a question, draw the diagram according to the question, then after that try to solve it. For finding the direction, there are different rules now, right hand thumb rule you can use. For finding the direction, we have lots of rules now, one is right hand thumb rule, okay, this is the current element and current is flowing in this direction, here the current is flowing in this direction, so we are considering a current carrying conductor this is the current carrying conductor and current flowing in this direction this is delta x how to find the direction of magnetic field you need to keep your right hand and thumb should be indicating thumb should be indicating the direction of current so the thumb will be in this direction it will be the direction of thumb thumb should be in this direction and you will get the encircling fingers like this so at the top the magnetic field will be towards you find the magnet direction of magnetic field here how to find the direction of magnetic field just apply right hand thumb rule in the direction of 10 ampere thumb is indicating in the direction of 10 ampere and what we are getting what is the direction of magnetic field at the point p it is towards you or it is away from you it is getting out of the plane right yes there is another rule palm rule okay you need to take your right hand okay thumb and other finger should be perpendicular and this thumb is indicating the direction of current and the other forefinger is indicating the direction of R. I will show you one picture. This is the picture. This thumb is indicating the direction of current. Okay. This is indicating the forefinger. It is indicating direction of R. Then keep a pen. Just imagine you have a pen. In between these two finger uh, any of the finger okay that pen will give you the direction of magnetic field so it is coming towards you okay you need to keep a pen this is the rule this is called palm rule the thumb will indicate the direction of 
current and the four fi- other four fingers that will indicate the direction of vector r and keep a pen inside and that pen will give the direction of magnetic field so direction of magnetic field is out of the plane it is coming towards you 